Hello participants. In today's two-part presentation, we will formulate a recipe and production method that is viable for commercial production without affecting the quality of the soap. We always hear people say there is no profit in uh, laundry soap making. But if that's true, why do the big names in the industry continue in the business and come to thrive in it? That's a question that needs answering. In this part one, we will discuss the controversial aspect of soup making, that is uh, temperature and uh, the amount of water you have to add to your soup. And after that, we will try to formulate a recipe. We will also look at the fatty acid profile of our oil and fat, and then we will look at additives. We already cited temperature because I think that is the only thing we would do a little bit differently here. Different supers will tell you, as in when you meet different supers, they will give you different answers as regards temperature. That is the hotness or cold coldness of the ingredient that you are supposed to use in your production. This temperature is very, very vital. To the formation of soap during production and its efficiency. High temperature in soap making increases the rate of collision of the reactant molecules, thus increasing the reaction rate, giving room for water tolerance. And technically speaking, there is no upper limit to the amount of water that you can use in soap making. Your in our lectures, we have always stressed the importance of understanding the fatty acid profile of your oils and fats. Knowing this will help you formulate a recipe with the properties, performance, and appearance you want. In this uh, formulation, we are going to use palm oil because of its fatty acid profile, its cost, availability, and especially its water tolerance level. It is a known fact that some oils tolerate higher co uh, water quantity than others. So we are going to look for a way to add water to this recipe without compromising the integrity of the finished product. Procedure is simple. Firstly, you make your light solution by dissolving your caustic in your water and you are allowed to cool to room temperature. Secondly, you heat your palm oil to between 250 degrees Celsius and 380 degrees celsius which is the flash point the flash point being that that's when you say the flash point of an oil that's the time the oil becomes highly flammable when you reach this point what you simply do is remove from the heat source and slowly add to your light solution while stirring the science behind this is simple by heating the oil, the uh, molecules, the oil molecules, they disintegrate and that makes it to easily bind with the caustic in your life solution. This will speed up saponification and trace. After you achieve trace, additives can be added and the soap further cooked in a double boiler or low heat. As I said earlier, we will look at the ingredients in depth while making the practical video in part 2. 